Hey travelers, welcome back to another episode of Canadian Star Wars Outpost. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, if you can hit that like and subscribe button to let YouTube know I'm making okay videos, that would be greatly appreciated. So let's continue on with part two with the soft parts of the Din Djarin project that I've been working on. Uh, I will show you guys where I got everything, um, the pricing, and just kind of go over the general soft parts. And then when we're done, I'll actually put everything together to show you where I'm at so far. So let's dive into it. Welcome back travelers. So as I said, I just received all the soft parts uh, about a week ago. I did open everything up because I had to make sure it fit okay and just in case I had to send it back. Uh, but everything seems to be okay. So actually, as you can see here, I uh, have it on my mannequin for us to kind of quickly look over and go over the materials and just the, the process that I went with. Uh, there are many suppliers who make these kind of suits, but I was really recommended on the Mandalorian build group I'm in to go with this particular builder or prop maker. As you can see, we'll slowly turn this if you can see it. So there is my so far kind of build. So we'll go up closer to it. I did take all the armor off just so we can just strictly look at the soft parts. But like I said, I'll throw all the armor on and then we'll kind of go from there. So let's get up close to this guy and take a look. All right, travelers. So let's just do a quick overview of the suit. So this is the soft suit or flight suit from the best car version. So season two or Book of Boba Fett, uh, Din Djarin, The Mandalorian. Um, so this suit itself is more of a brown suit. But yeah, so we'll go from top to bottom for pieces. So we have the neck gaiter underneath his neck there, obviously. The cape, the part with the Velcro is the flak jacket. And then underneath that, his just torso jacket. As we go down, you have the cummerbund in the middle there and the pants. I also attached, it's not a part of the set, but I did, as you can see on his shoulder there, he does have the Grogu bag. Um, but I'm actually gonna take the cape off and the neck gaiter off so we can kind of take a closer look at those. Uh, and I'll remove the Grogu carrying case uh, just so you get, you can kind of see what you get uh, with this purchase from this prop maker. All right, so coming back here guys, so I did take a couple pieces off. This is the total um, set itself. So as you can see, the cape is undone there. And then I have the neck gator in my hand. Uh, but this would be a whole set from this prop maker without the Grogu bag. Uh, and it's actually made by Dark Side Closet. Uh, so a lot of people recommended Dark Side Closet to me as it's one of the best makers out there. Um, so this is the direction I decided to go with. Um, but if we take a closer look to the material itself, so this is the neck gator. Um, this is made of like, the best way I can describe it to you is it feels like it's almost a um, Kevlar material. It isn't, I don't believe it's Kevlar to be honest. Um, but yeah, they, it's a really heavy material. Um, so this is the, the neck gaiter and everything on here is basically Velcroed on. But just to go over that, so that's the neck piece. Uh, and just to come up close, just to show you how everything attaches, um, just quickly. so. If you come up close, the cape itself is made of almost like a wool material. I believe this is actually just straight wool, um, but it could be a blend, but definitely wool. And then he's got Velcro tied onto here. So this would just come over your shoulder and attach here, which gets you the fold that you're looking for. But everything is attached by Velcro generally. So if we take this piece off and then he has a large piece of Velcro under here. And that's how that just attaches there. So we'll remove this and just take a closer look at the cape. Um, so this is the cape, All right? It's got your rips in the bottom, but yes, yeah, definitely like a wool kind of material. So that's the cape, All right? And then these are the rest of the pieces that are kind of hidden underneath. Uh, so the flak jacket itself is just laying on top. And this is some kind of almost leathery material here. And then these Velcro parts, um, you have to pay extra to have attached if you want them there. If not, uh, you have to put them on yourself and sew them on. Uh, but yeah, so those are kind of the, the set pieces for the armor to lay on, right? And then you have your cummerbund piece, right? And this is almost like a rubber. Uh, this is definitely like a rubber material. I was gonna say waxy, but it's definitely a rubbery material, right? And this is also just Velcroed on to the part here, 
which just Velcros in the back, but this is just attached by Velcro right there. Okay, and then the pants are just pants. They go on like pants. Uh, but if you look in the back here real quickly, this is just how your back of your suit looks. Um, so you just have a Velcro piece here, which is for the flak, and then a zipper in the back for your jacket. Right, and then the back of the cummerbund is just Velcro. So that is basically it guys, it's just a flight suit. Uh, there's not a lot of detail about it. I mean, the amount of detail that the prop maker goes to, um, so all these stitching and the layers of the jacket, that was one thing I was really impressed with. So when you're putting armor on, uh, just the layers to be able to put your hand up certain points or up the, up the arm if you need to, to get things attached are, uh, you know, very helpful and I find just help a lot. Um, but the one thing I did want to say is I even had to myself, just for my armor, I had to attach some Velcro for myself. So this material is really heavy. I can only imagine it's going to be really hot to wear in the summer, but it is very workable. So it's easy to, to sew with or do whatever you need to add adjustments. Um, but that's basically the suit, guys. So um, I'm going to put everything back together on it. So you can kind of just see where I'm at as a kind of process of the suit so far. All right, so that's the flight suit, everyone. I have taken the time to put them back together. As you can see, his shoulder part hanging there. So I'll kind of show you where I'm at today. Uh, so it's April. Uh, I have the armor and the flight suit and a couple extra accessories. So I do have a sideshow or a Hot Toys Grogu that I did purchase as long, along with his, like you saw, the, the satchel or the, the carrying bag for Grogu. So those are little extra parts, but I will make another video uh, as part of as a different part uh, to kind of cover accessories because that's kind of what they count as. Um, and as of right now, as today, I do have the rest of the pieces on order. So a lot of the shin parts, all the leather, um, but I'm looking at later May, kind of June when they show up. So if you don't see a video pop up uh, for that, it's just because I'm waiting for stuff to, to ship over. So uh, we'll take a quick peek at where I'm at today. So with the, all the armor and the flight suit in one piece, that is kind of what he looks like. Um, so we're getting there one piece at a time. Uh, I will make a video to at the end of this project to show you the kind of small things I did. Uh, as you can see, he does not have his gauntlets on because again, the way I've pieced them together, they don't fit very well on, on the mannequin. So I do have them, they are complete, but I will show you some tips and tricks near the end of everything. Uh, just, just kind of give you ideas. Like I said, there's a million there's a million prop makers. There's a million ways you can do things. This is just the way I did things. Um, but some, lots of people will tell you different. So, uh, for the flight suit, let's just kind of get into the pricing and where I got it from. So just to review, uh, the website. So I did get this piece from dark sides closets. This was recommended to me from, um, someone in the Mandalorian build group. Uh, they said that this, this prop maker was one of the best. Um, so let's kind of just take a quick look at the prices. So, uh, just on his website alone, you're looking at 330 for the flight suit. So you're looking at the neck gaiter, the torso, and the pants for 330. The flak vest for 175. The cape 185, and then the cummerbund with the tasset or the apron or that rubbery part uh, 175. Um, and then you can looks like you can order uh, a full um, kind of suit 210 to order and modify stomper gloves. So I'm not sure what that is. Um, it might, I'm not sure. Um, obviously it wouldn't be everything plus gloves. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but to sum up, I generally just got the main suit uh, and then you can pay extra to have the Velcro attached if you want, like I said. Uh, so when you price that out uh, as a Canadian, again, up, up in the Great White North, you're looking at 865 American for all of that. And then when you convert it, you're looking at about 1200 bucks. It's just shy of 1200 bucks Canadian. Again, the suit is really well made. The material is great. It doesn't feel like it would rip or break apart. Uh, it's really well made. The other thing too, is that this prop maker makes it customizable to you. So he'll take all of your measurements. He does everything properly. He'll fit this suit to fit you genuinely. The only thing about this is you're looking at about a 20 to 28 week waiting period. So about five to seven months uh, to get this built for you. But 
when you're paying that kind of money, it's, you know, he's building these one at a time. It's worth the money. Now you can do what I did. I did not pay full price for this. I actually got really lucky uh, and I found this posted in the Mandalorian build group and was on eBay. Uh, so I got this off of a third party site. Now there's risks to that, but the person who was selling this to me uh, actually put in all the measurements uh, online and I measured myself and it fit pretty good. The only thing I would say that's a little off is the torso part is a little short on me, but it's not that big of an issue because it's covered up by the cummerbund. Um, so I got pretty lucky uh, and I paid about 40% less than a full price plus shipping. Uh, so I got kind of lucky. So like I said, if you guys are into cosplaying and doing these really expensive costumes, always look online first. I mean, yes, it's always great to buy stuff new, uh, but if you can save yourself a couple bucks down the road, um, just by looking online and meeting friendly people in the community, you know, you might pick up on a deal on that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for today, guys. So that's part two. That's just the flight suit. I have more stuff on order, so there'll probably be about five parts in this series, uh, but that's, that's part two for today. Thanks for stopping by.